hello and welcome to our special series called uh, the voice of innomenians where we speak about the innomatics experience the innomatics way of learning and we also talk about the placement journey today with us is uh, saba zehra said congratulations saba she is an innomenian who has been placed uh, at emphasis as an associate software engineer uh, congratulations saba and welcome to the session Thank you, thank you so much. Saba, we'll quickly move to the questions. Uh, my first question is, how did you find Innomatic? So it all began in my second and third year. Right now, I'm in my senior. That's the final year. It all began. My search began in second and third year, where I was searching for internships. And coming from a tired three college was very difficult, you know, to get shortlisted. So when I was going through LinkedIn, intern shala, and other other websites i finally landed on innomatics uh, i guess on linkedin exactly you had this hackathon going on at that time and i kind of registered for it the theme was uh, around the money heist wala situation it was all kind of going around that time so i applied for it and then i went through the company's profile and what really struck stuck with me till now is that the tagline of it You just don't train; you transform lives, and I get, I just feel innovatives are stuck to it, and it's seen in what where I am today. Uh, I am sure when you did your market survey, you went through several different institutes and training centers, which probably promise or provide similar kind of facilities. Uh, my question to you is: What made you? Uh, stay here. Like, what was the tipping point where you thought that yes, innovatives is the right choice for me? Okay. Uh, so the very thing about Innomatics is they actually provide internship as an internship. You know, basically when you think about internships, it's like you interview with a company or you you do some task with a company and then you start you know learning and then doing internship task. But uh, when I went through the other companies' profile and all, what they told me was you I'll have to pay for a training module. and a certification would be provided after i do a capstone project and you know paying for an internship is not i don't feel that is a proper kind of internship an internship is somewhere you show your skills and the company you know honors them and you know they understand how you are and they provide you with an internship that's a real internship so when i came down with innomatics and i was really happy that uh, they actually provided a real internship what exactly an internship defines to be that was provided by innomatic uh, talk to me about your uh, placement journey and did innomatic play any role in in that journey yeah so the journey was uh, like a roller coaster ride i have to say because from the school the transition from school to college itself was a very big one and you know to understand that the academics the way the college works was very big part and then uh, second and third year me to we had the core subjects in which were like very difficult to cope up with and you had to understand implement all but the thing is like i was doing everything on a self paced manner i didn't go for any extra courses or anything i was just you know learning through youtube and all that bagara bagara and i was really searching for an internship to apply all of this with a mentor like you, even when it comes down to an internship you have someone guiding you or telling you like this is wrong that is wrong you can't have that when you're doing a self learning wala process then uh, when all of this happened and in uh, innomatics and this internship had happened at a very right time i would say uh, i found this at the perfect time i was starting my fourth year and i've already given the company entrance entrances for i guess two or three weeks. i started this internship and exactly two weeks after i completed this i had uh, i got shortlisted in both and i had this uh, 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 return uh, coding rounds i had these coding rounds so what exactly happened is we had a coding task like daily coding task from hacker rank in this very uh, data science internship where i had to like implement what exactly i learned in python kanav sir gave a very detailed explanation how to apply and all that and then he asked us to go back home and you know do our own research i didn't do that in first year honestly all i did was do an academic wala studying for the mass and what what do you do for exams you know you have to pass and get good grades that's what i did but coming to the final year and with this internship i was able to explore more uh, and the very thing about this is i learned python in very different dynamics i learned it as a object oriented wala part then i learned it as a gui i learned it as a data science how to use those libraries in data science so it was very different dynamics of only one language 
and the way okay. he explained everything from scratch it made made me made it easier and i almost fell in love so uh, before starting this internship i would say i would rate myself around uh, on a scale of 10 i would rate around 5 or something but after this i'm i feel a little confident i'm like coding wasn't my forte but mm. i feel like i can do a little 8 to 9 now so mm-hmm. this so ha- doing those hacker rank tasks every day and you know if i have a doubt there was an amazing discord community like no matter what everybody was there to help you the, the fellow interns or kind of serve himself sometimes or some other one from the team so this is what i i wasn't stuck anywhere and if if i was stuck also i didn't have to go to google like you first in the go, go go on to google and check out if you have a doubt i went to the community instead and i was like i was able to talk and all and uh, so the all of this and i i was able to actually clear the test cases in the coding round so that was a very big achievement for me because mm-hmm. i used to write the logic and all but passing the test cases was never my thing mm-hmm. in any other thing before so that helped me actually clear those uh, rounds and that's how mm-hmm. i went. and technical interviews i was able to like ace because of all this only i it was repeating in my mind again and again and again and again i was able to recall and doing those tasks i, I really got uh, you know it, it was smooth like butter for me sabha uh, are yeah. in chennai and i am sure you would have been a part of our online classes uh, do you as a student and i'm saying this in the light of pandemic now that most classes are digital uh, did you ever feel that uh, maybe i would have been gotten better training if i was offline or if i picked a course somewhere in chennai itself when it was online i kind of felt like online hai, how will i be able to maybe you know i was a little worried and i was in doubt so will i be able to like cope up with people because it's online you know there'll be a communication gap between the mentor and the mentee and all mm-hmm. but uh, once it started to be honest it felt as if i was really in a classroom like literally mm-hmm. in a classroom and the best part about it was the meeting had around 150 to 170 students mm-hmm. interns i mean uh, but he gave a kind of sir gave individual attention he was able to answer each one's question and he was able like even if we crack a joke someone cracks a joke in the middle in the chat this wasn't voice or anything just in the chat he he used to catch because the the chat just goes go, goes on goes on and he was able to catch and that was really important for me like uh, prabha before we wrap up i want to ask you if there is anything that you want to share about nomadics if there is a message that you have for us uh thanks to kanav sir actually the way he explained things from scratch and i really feel confident now i've i've told him many times I I really feel confident where I stand. Though I've done a four-year degree, I just feel confident after this internship mm-hmm. because I know where I stand and I know I'm capable of doing things. Mm-hmm. Uh, Illumatics, uh, as a whole organization, the way they coordinate the organization is like amazing. They're so friendly. The thing is, you learn. That's important in any organization. That's very important. Instead of you know like kicking people out or disqualifying people, they give you time to learn and you know uh, you know take your time but do it. Finish it off. so the community with the discord was amazing from the placement team to the people who were answering our doubts to kind of sir himself and of course the fellow interns it was an amazing community i haven't spoken to them personally but the way we had the discussions there was really i i felt like i'm talking to a group there itself you know new friends and all so that was really interesting i learned so many things from them like really i was just going through the chats and so many people know so much and there's so much to learn so that was very inspiring and uh, i would suggest innomatics to anybody though i am based in chennai or and anywhere else my actually my uh, fellow college mates are applying also there was a recent hackathon right now even i was yes, part yes, of it yes. so yeah. they have applied so many of them have participated in it and i have referred to few of my schoolmates also who are into full stack development there was another yes. event for that also yes. so i have been doing so as in whole organization i feel innomatics is the place where you can you know blossom in mm-hmm. this and true to what the mission is they don't they don't just train you know they transform i i really feel transform and i'm saying from the bottom of my heart i feel there's mm-hmm. a drastic change as a techie in me there's okay. a drastic change so i'll have to thank everybody from the bottom of my heart for this thank you so much Thank you.